All right, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha'afudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, and Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. So we're just coming back with another lesson, and we're just going to roll through the Spirit. And the first scripture we're going to start off with is Matthew um, 24 and 37. Okay. And it says, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And that's basically what the same thing, you know, like it says in Ecclesiastes, there's nothing new under the sun. Spirit has no good for Oh, you can, um, you yeah. can grab it. Yeah, spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... It's basically like I was saying. If we're, we're, it's the same same scenario happening over again right now. Mm -hmm. You know, we're literally at the end of America, and it's clear as day to see that. Yet, everybody else is still continuing life like it's just another regular day. Like it's just America is gonna be here another like fifty, hundred years or whatever. Are right, you're you're just gonna continue to live life like you've been living, thinking that your generations is going to continue on and on. No, I mean, it's not like that. We're at the end, all right? And you still have people, just like in the days of Noah, doing the same exact things, all right? Not taking heed to the warnings for the other prophets, all right? Not not, uh, not trying to, you know, repent. Not not trying to hear anything, man, all right? They're, they're just too busy, so-called, living their life. Yep. Uh, you can grab yeah. it. This is... Um... Ecclesiastes one and uh one and nine, the mm -hmm. thing that have been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that um which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Yeah, there's no new thing under the sun. So just like in the time of Noah, he was he was out there warning everybody, they thought he was he was just really looking crazy, talking about it's gonna rain, it's gonna flood, this and that. And nobody wanted to listen. They was out there just turning it up, still doing their own thing, while um, while that destruction just suddenly came upon them. All right, and you got the same thing going on now. We telling people uh, the so called white man's finna roll on you with that great wrath. All right, the market of beasts is finna get forced on you. It's not going to be optional. It's going to be getting forced on you, people. All right, it's going to be race wars. All right, World War Three. All these different things we're saying is going to come to pass, and nobody's listening. They're just saying, "Oh, whatever," just continuing their life as normal. All right. Yep. Yeah. I can hop back into uh, Saint Matthew the twenty fourth. Uh, this is back in Saint Matthew twenty four and thirty seven. Mm -hmm. it says, "But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that uh, were before the flood." They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood uh, came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah, so it's basically going to be the same exact thing when our Lord Yahweh shall return us, man. All right, it's going to be the same exact thing happening again like you see right now. Mm. All right, everybody is basically still living their life, partying. You live on like on the um on these social medias, this doing like you know trying to live their life. Everybody really look forward to the weekend and turn up, or they just trying to turn up every day in the week. Really, like um brothers be saying, as we're getting as the hell is increasing in America, really people are trying to party and turn up even more. They're 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 doing harder drugs, all right. They're, um, spending more money to just so called escape the reality, all right. Yeah, they're 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 trying they're trying new things and any anything to escape the hell and reality of their situation. You yep. know. And America's perfectly set up for you to do that. Yep. That's why that's why it has so many distractions. Esau created so many distractions out here to distract you from what's going on. From your bitter from your bitter hell. Chiefly towards the our people, cause fuck you other heathen nations, you know. To hell with you. Alright? Literally. All right. Um, this is for you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're you're trying to escape reality. This is America. All right. This is the land of our captivity. You know, and when you look into the word America, it basically means uh, a bitterness, man. And that and and that's how it lets you know that this is spiritually Egypt, 
as it says in Revelation 11 and 8. Why? Because during the uh, the ceremony of the Pesach, what do we do to 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 uh, um to to um to pretty much uh, remember yeah, to remind us of this bitter captivity that we're in? Yeah, and ultimately, um, when we when we we escape from Egypt, mm -hmm. you know, it, it was it, it was spiritually because we're back in the same scenario, you know, just like it says in Jude. All right, you know, uh, well, man, man, I'm gonna just pull the scripts, you know. I'm gonna just pull it out. All right. Um, this it, and there's nothing new under the sun. We're just in a different location on 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 the globe. You know, it's the same. It's the same uh, spirit or vibration being pressed out. If not, uh, if not, uh, uh, more more left handed. You know. Let me pull this out real fast. Uh, this is in uh, this is in Jude. All right. Yep. Slot killing. Let me get it. All right. This is in Jude chapter 1, verse 5. It says, I will. Uh, this is Jude 1 and 5. I will therefore put you in remembrance. Though you once knew this, you know why? Because. We were once told this in another lifetime, you know, Lord's will. We we are the uh, the same prophets, all right. Uh, uh, from our past lives, okay. Well, you know what I mean. The prophets that we read about, you know, ultimately the elect that we hope to be, you know, like like the um, like the apostle chiefly Tahar says, you know, that's why we we say hopeful elect because that's we that's who we aspire to to be, and if we if we um, if we um, um, maintain the guidelines that the heavenly father has set up are uh, when you look into the word hope it means expectation that that you expect to be saved you know if 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 you uh what if you maintain the faith okay if you condemn if you continue to uh, prophesy condemn this place okay you know what and, and, and like the scriptures say in the apocrypha if you strive for the truth unto death you know the Lord, hey man, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. So, so with that being said, if you're doing these things and if you're giving your diligence to make your call and election short, then hey man, like the scriptures say, you should never never fall. And at the same time, man, you should expect to be delivered. If you're doing everything that the Heavenly Father tells you to do, you're gonna yeah, you're gonna have your slips, you know. You're gonna go through it. We're in this flesh, it's a battle, all right. Ultimately, what you wanna win the, the, the ultimate war, you know. It's a daily battle, yet it's it's all about getting to that the ultimate victory, you know. So it says, "I would therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how the how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not." Mm -hmm. And that's what's going to happen again this time. Mm -hmm. Everybody that doesn't believe and don't want to take heed, you're going to be destroyed on on this side. You know, and like you were saying, it's all for our people because yeah, they're the that's that's who's supposed to be taking heed in the first place, and that's the only ones who can be saved. Esau can't be saved. These heathens can't be saved, man. All right, and it only gets more intricate the more you dig into this truth, man. Because only Israel can be saved, yet only the elect of Israel can can ultimately be saved from this destruction, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so so it gets it gets deep. You know, that's why, that's why we're, uh, really, that's why we, we focus on our people, man. Cause, cause the, uh, uh, the Lord deals with nations. Okay. And ultimately the Lord is dealing with the nation of Israel. All right. You know, as he, as he always had and he always will. All right. Yeah. That's why, um, you, um, you could find it in, sec in the second Ezra's, let not the incredulity, uh, incredulity of yep. them. Nine. Trouble thee. Kind, kind. Second Ezra chapter nine. Yep. Because these people, they just because they they don't believe that that um certain things is going to happen like World War Three. All right, the the way that America is going to be destroyed, they might not believe in that. Yet they try to force their beliefs mm. upon you, make you feel like you're bugged out or you're you're um crazy for believing in what you believe in, you know, just because they don't want to accept that reality. Yep. Just because they don't want to accept the, the fact that America is going to go out that way, you know? Get gun. 
You got that in, um uh so like yeah, yeah. It's uh second Ezra chapter nine verse one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of this uh of the signs past I don't think it's this chapter. Uh, how did, repeat it again, Bokasha. That's not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Oh, Salakia, the fifteenth then. Salak. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's the one. Salakia. It's Second Ezra fifteen and and um and one. Behold, mm -hmm. speak thou in the ears of my people yep. the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Yep. And the Lord, the Lord. That's the thing. We're 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 reading. Uh, 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 the words of the Heavenly Father. We come out the scriptures. That's why every time demons come up, or right, whether we're out on the highways and hedges, or on the comment boards, what they they attacked our character, or they want to know how do we feel like like carnally. What do you forget the scriptures? Forget about what the Lord say. How do you feel? You know. Oh, what about back in the day when you used to do this? You know, they attacked our our, our character. You know, that's 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 a um. How do you say it? that's a strategy of Satan? You know? Mm -hmm. Hey man, this is the words and the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This, this is all uh 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 Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai by Shumakodash, man. The Holy Spirit, man. You know? Alright? This is this is not of man. Okay? You know? Or else it would come to naught. Go ahead, out. And it says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Yeah, the scriptures, man. Go ahead. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And that's basically these people. Mm -hmm. Two thirds of our people. You know, they, they just because they don't believe, they don't want to accept the fact that the Lord is going to destroy America and that he's going to, two thirds of our people as well are going to be destroyed. They want to try to force their um, their disbelief on you. Make you make you want to disbelieve. Yeah. Make you want to um, forsake your ways, mm -hmm. man. That's good. That's exactly what they try to do. That's basically a demon. They try to put that demon on you, that demon of doubt, that demon of dis of unbelief. All right, because they don't want they want you to to um, birds of a feather flock together and uh, misery loves company. They want yep. you to join them. All right, be miserable with them in America, working a regular nine to five, just being a complete bug out, man. Just because you you actually have faith in something and it shows through you, you, how you carry yourself and how you conduct yourself. All right. They don't. They don't want you to to believe in that anymore, man. That's why everybody, our people, they be the main ones coming up against us. Yep. And they're. That's why it says that in, um, in Ezekiel the third chapter about making your forehead hard against their forehead. Because our people, they 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 like it's, the scriptures say they're rebellious people, man. They don't believe you. You believe in what the so-called white man will tell you, but you don't want to believe in the words of the heavenly Father. Yeah, I got a uh, quick precept. Mm -hmm. Same, uh, this is in um, the Apocrypha, the book of Sirach, chapter 33. You know, just bouncing off what you're saying. Because this really is a um, it's a spiritual battle, like the scriptures say, man. It's literally, like, well, it's going to break it down, man. It's This is literally a, a spiritual battle, okay? That's why that's why the scriptures say, I believe in Corinthians, that, hey, man, can two, can two uh, walk together, walk together at least, at least, least they be agreed. agreed. It's hey, Amos man. 3 and 3. Salaki is Amos three and three, and it's another one in uh, uh in in Corinthians. All right, yeah, yeah. It can dark you know uh yeah. darkness and light. Mm -hmm. It's always it's always a struggle in powers, man. You know it's it's always a battle, really. Okay, it's a spiritual battle. Even if you see a person, you know they may try to act like they're cool, whatever the case may be. Yet their their whole their whole agenda is to is to seduce you or sway you through the spirit of Satan. Unto their beliefs, unto their ways, you know, it's always it's a battle, it's a spiritual battle with that, you know. All right, and, and one, one, either either you got to separate or one is gonna give over, give in into the other, you know. This is a uh, Sirach chapter thirty three verse fourteen. It says, mm -hmm. um, "Good is said against evil, and life against death." And this is literally what it is: good against evil. Jacob versus Esau. Okay. Life versus death, you know. 
Yeah, and Esau presents the ways of death to Straight us. Up. He is death. He is death, and he pushes that on everybody else here. That vibration of death on everybody else, mm -hmm. and they openly, op um, openly and willingly accept it. Yeah, and then try to push that same vibration on the next person. Yep, because they get conquered. You know, they get conquered by the spiritual demon Satan, and then what? You know, like the uh, the elder brother um, Yahweh called. He brings out a nice uh. uh we haven't brought it out in a little bit yet. He uh, analogy with the movies, you know, you get bit by the zombie, or whatever, you, whatever, you know. Them twenty eight days later, we was talking about that a few days ago. The spirit, you know, you see in the movies, motherfuckers get bit, you know, they try to act like they're cool, they try to play it cool, but really they're they're already like you know what I mean, pretty much transforming into a demon. And then what? Their whole your whole goal once you're you once you're totally engulfed by by uh by Satan is what? To 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 uh to bite another person. Alright, and that's all these that's all all these people agenda is, man. To turn you out. You know, to turn you out to the ways of Babylon to ultimately to, to get you to defy yourself so so now that the Heavenly Father he has to destroy you. You know? And ultimately that's Esau's goal, because he knows his destiny. He knows he he don't man he know this is as good as it's gonna get for him, all right. Mm -hmm. He knows his judgment. Hey, these these wicked uh, uh, left hand elites know what time it is. They know what's up, all right. And guess what? Esau wants wants Jake to go out with him. That's why you think he's pulling the two thirds with him, man. All right. He's grabbing as many souls as he can through. Hey, that's why he's the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. Because his goal is to gather as many souls as he can. Because he knows he's going out. He knows he's, he's condemned. All right? You know? His whole thing is, all right, cool. I'm trying to take, I'm trying to take, uh, really, as many Israelites as I can with me. You know? That's his whole thing. Fuck these heathen nations. All right? You know? So so it's all, a, a, it's not a lifestyle. It's a death style that two-thirds of our people are, are, are living. Because why? Because they have given it to the ways of... Uh, uh, they have given it to the passage of death, pretty much, man. They're 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 headed down that road. Yeah, that's why the scriptures say the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, uh -huh. but the ways of the wicked seduce them. Yeah, and that's really what it is. Our people were were seduced into wickedness from Esau. Now it's to the point where he doesn't even have to force it upon you. You just willingly go out there and just do it. Yep. That's that's your so called. Everybody think they free you in America. You free. You free to do wickedness. You're not free to do righteousness. Yeah, you were influenced to do whatever you think you're 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 free to do, you know. All right, yeah, do this, do that. Esau has influenced you throughout, you know what I mean, throwing demons on you all throughout the day, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, making you think it's your it's your decision. This is what you wanted to do the whole time. No, <laughs> he put that thought in your head. <laughs> you know what I mean, thinking thinking that he is the Most High, like the scriptures say, man. All right, let uh, me continue on. It says. Good is set against evil and life against death. So it, so is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. Mm -hmm. So look upon all the works of the Most High and there are two and two, one against another. Yeah, so somebody got to be right and somebody got to be wrong. Straight. So who, who is who's, 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 um, who is who? You know, are we, are we wrong or, and y'all right or are we right and y'all wrong? And we already know the answer to that question. It's a rhetorical question. Yet yeah, this is just further proving that, man. That's why it has to be. It's very. It's like the scriptures say. Look at all the works, and there's two and two. Mm -hmm. That's why our people are coming against us because we are. We are in the right spirit, man. Y'all in the wrong spirit, man. You have demons on you. We don't got demons on us. Yep. All right, we're trying to help you out. You don't want the help. You want to be. You want to continue to be a demon. That's why the scriptures say, um, they'd rather be in darkness than to come to the light. Yeah. Like uh, Proverbs, the first chapter, the Lord said, I, I, I lend my hand out to you. Yeah, yeah. And you you don't regard it, you know? And that's and that what? That's going to lead to your calamity, ultimately. Well, we can, we can grab yeah, it. that's beautiful. Yeah, because, you know, bouncing off what you're saying, that's scriptural, man, because that's exactly how the Lord uh, uh, feels, man, you know? Yeah, as um, Proverbs 1 and 24, because I have called and ye refused. Hmm. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. it. But, yep. Yeah, the Lord is literally like lending, lending his, his hand out to you. Say if you like, you know how you're, you're, 
you see in movies, you're, you're driving, or you know, you're driving on the road, and it says "end of road, dead end," and you're you're running through all the all the signs, the warning signs, and then you finally like hit a cliff, man. All right. Yet somehow, slim chance, man, you're you're hanging on the cliff. All right. Somehow, the Lord is lending His hand out to you, like yo, I'll, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Or you out in the water, man. You know, just like I always think about this, like um, uh, uh when Yahweh Shai and Peter, you know, when he came out to the water, to Yahweh Shai. All right, you know. Think about it. If you if you if you're drowning in water, man, the Lord is lending His hand out to you, a lifesaver, man. Pretty much. And you don't even regard it like, no, nah, fuck that, I got it. No, I don't. You know. Being a proud demon. All right. Hey, man. Shh. The Lord is going to let you drown. Going to let you fall. Hey, man. Going to let you do what you what you think you can and what he know you can't. You know? And it says, verse 24, it says, Because I have called and ye refused, hmm. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded it. But ye have said at not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. Yeah, you didn't want you didn't you didn't want to counsel with the heavenly father about all your, your issues, about how you should go about things, you know? Alright? Cause cause um another thing the elder brother y'all would call uh, uh uh brings out, hey man, life is all about judgment calls, man. Your choices. Yeah. yeah everybody, everybody got choices, that was, Everybody yeah. got choices. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not you you don't you're not counseling with with um with the men of Yah by Shem Yah Washai. Hey, because hey, really you you don't want nothing to do with that, really, because mm -hmm. that's who you're not seeing the Lord cl up close in person. You're not getting that, all right? <laughs> you know, you're getting you getting the Lord's mouthpiece, the prophets, man, His servants, the prophets. Okay, you are getting His word, all right, and and, and you're getting the judgments, man. All right, whether it's it it's 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 so called it's good or bad, you know what I mean? That that's that's on you and on on what on the heavenly Father what He feels fit for you to go through. And for two thirds, man, it's nothing but but hell, death and destruction. You know. Yet yeah, you you refuse that you refuse, you know you know the uh, of the Lord's counsel. All right, you don't you don't think about that. They don't lay it to heart. My like the scriptures say, my people don't consider, you know, you got it. Out. It says, but ye have said it not all my counsel, mm -hmm. and would none of my reproof. Yep. I also will laugh at your calamity. Mm. I will mock when your fear cometh. Yeah, and that's the spirit because um we were talking about that too a few days ago. Saint John the third chapter, you know, they don't want to come to the light. At least they these be reproved. Reproved. Mm -hmm. You don't. You don't want to get right. Jake don't want to get right, man. No, nah, Jake like being a demon. Yeah, like certain certain Jakes actually just said that they <laughs> they prefer be they actually prefer being a demon and they'll actually openly admit that though. They'll they'll call themselves demons, man. Yeah, <laughs> these, these rap niggas they they be saying they demons like yeah, I'm not a e demon. They're not even in, in, in let's get this straight. Not even in a repenting way. Like yeah, Salaki, I'm oh, I'm being a, I'm being a demon. I was being a demon, you know, mm -hmm. Salak, bro, or Salak, yeah, Salak, yeah, y'all bash me, I was shot. You know, I'm being a demon. I was being a demon. These niggas glorifying it, man. I'm a demon. You know what I mean? I'm hanging with my demons. They really, they really say this, man. Yeah. You know, that's nothing to be be cool. That's nothing to feel good about. All right. Yeah, that's that. Hey, man, that's how that's how two thirds of our people uh, uh, take on those spirits, man. Ultimately, the spirit of this world. Go ahead, I. I also will laugh at your calamity. Mm -hmm. I will mock when your fear cometh. Ooh, that's the spirit. Yeah, the Lord is gonna uh, uh, mock you. And hey, that's the spirit, though, because Galatians the sixth chapter, the Most High is not mocked. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever you're sowing in, you're gonna reap the same, man. All right. And two thirds of our of our uh, of our people, two thirds of Israel, are gonna reap corruption. You know. Uh, you have you have more of that. Um, yeah, use to your discretion. You know. Well, I'll, I'll stop at. 
Yeah, right. 28. Okay. But when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Yeah, it's not going to be a joke when the Lord brings your worst nightmares to, 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 to reality. All right? When the Lord, hey, when, when death is at your doormat, man, when death is at your doorstep, okay? When, when the things that you love and cherish be stripping away from you, all right? Hey, man, it says even in Revelations. Some are going to, hey, a lot of people are going to seek death and not find it in that day because the Lord is the author of life and death. He's in, you don't decide shit, man. You're going to think, you, oh, I'm going to just end it up. You, you think, oh, this is YOLO. I can live my life how I want to live it. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I'm catching hell. I'm going to take my life. No, the Lord is in control of it all. All right? No, you're going to stay, you're going to stay in your, but you, your wicked ass flesh and you're going to suffer more and then I'm going I'm to brutally put your ass to death, man. That's how the Lord rocks. You know? All right. Go ahead. Bring that. Bring that. Um, Bob Kishat, that verse to the top again. It says, "When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, mm -hmm. when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Mm -hmm. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me." Yeah, it's not early enough. Cause yeah. yo, hey, your time ain't the most high time. Mm -hmm. Your early ain't is not the most high early. Some niggas think waking up twelve o'clock one is early. You know what I mean? Oh, man, you know, it's early. You know what I mean? I usually wake up at, at 4 or 5. Some, you know what I mean? Some dumb... Yo, your time is not the most highest time, man. All right? And, of course, and, and, and like the scriptures say, hey, man, it's, it's high time to wake, out, wake up out of the sleep, man. Mm -hmm. Yet, two-thirds uh, 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 love, love to, uh, to slumber, man. They, lo they love it here, man. <laughs> You know, try to tell them different. Keep going up. It says, "For that they hated, um, mm. for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord." Yep. And that's what it is right now as well. That's that's basically why our people are not coming back to the heavenly fathers because they they hate knowledge, and they you really you hate the heavenly father because if you loved them, you would do what you're supposed to be doing. Yep. So that's really what it comes down to. And the Lord, really, he hates you. Yeah. Shit. Because you being a disobedient child. You're supposed to be worshiping him, man. Doing his will. You want to do your own will. That's why the Lord is just going to destroy you niggas, man. Two-thirds of our people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And you women. Yeah, for you know? sure. Yep. Y'all all going to get it, man. Women, children, elderly, young. The Lord ain't no respecter of persons, man. Everybody's going to get judged. Hmm. Because you chose... Your will instead of the will of the Heavenly Father. All right, so, right. so we can close up on that. Okay. We, yeah. That's, yeah. That's what it is. And that's a good way to end it off, man. <laughs> that's basically two thirds of our people, man. Y'all, y'all chose not to fear the Lord, all right, and you hated knowledge. So yep. the Lord, just for you choosing the ways of this world, man. Hey, you are gonna die along with this world, man? Because this world ain't gonna abide here forever, all right. This society we living in now, this is all temporary. So just because you chose to enjoy the brief moment of in, living in America, you being YOLO, like you were saying, yeah. hey, look, look, you're going to see where that's going to get you, how far that's going to get you in your life. And it's not going to be too far. Yeah. That's right. You know? All right. So, yeah, with that, man, Lord willing, the lesson was edifying. Mm -hmm. We're going to close out and give all praises again to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakal Kwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. And Shalom, Tadaki, my there, preaching his word, truth, sincerity. All right. Shalom. Shalom.